Hi, it's Joe Glass from the Automator, and today I want to go over some of the updates we did to Automate My Task. Now, Automate My Task is a great free tool that allows you to very quickly, um, you know, move your mouse, find, click something, you know, search for text or search for an image, click it, send text to something, um, and sometimes even send control clicks instead of mouse clicks. Uh, the uh, There were a couple small bugs in it, but we made some big updates to it, so let's go ahead and jump into here. And now this is the GUI, right, that you use to write your auto hockey syntax. Let me let me get rid of these steps. I was just playing with something here. Um, and first off, we're going to start off with sending a mouse click. So let's let's first hit F1. And let's say I want to hit the number seven, lucky number seven. All right, so you hit F7, move away. This is because sometimes your mouse interacts with things and the colors change. So I hit F1 again. Now it's there. I can say display matches. Hey, look, it only found one seven out of all. And it, it, it well, initially it was looking everywhere. However, because the window title says tape calc in this T main form, it's only looking, it's limiting to this class, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's both the title and the class. So it's it, this is how we really speed things up. It's not searching everywhere like a normal image search was. It limits it to these windows or those classes if, if they're both there. And let's say I want to test this. Um, let's just test it first off. I'm going to click this button. Now notice I hit it, a 7 showed up. The mouse didn't move, right? This is awesome because... Uh, well, that means we're sending control clicks, right? Because the mouse isn't moving over there. We're sending a mouse click to there without moving it. Now, some things that you click won't receive, they won't understand that you sent a click. So you have to send an actual click. So we're gonna change this to an actual click. We're gonna click this. And now you'll notice my mouse actually move over right in the middle of that seven, hit the button. Um, let's say though you wanted to move the mouse back where it was. This is the one of the things that was broken. Uh, the button worked, but the export didn't quite work properly. So I'm going to hit test. Now it moves it over there and moves my mouse back for me, right? So we fixed that. Um, let's see, what was one of the other stuff? We, we added a lot of stuff to the, uh, where is the icon here? Um, here we go. So uh, we have a check for updates now, uh, which is cool. Um, we, we also fixed something in the export. I forget exactly what it was, but oh yeah, it... it um, even though if we would unselect, so with this selected, we say export, here is our auto hotkey syntax. Now, this assumption would be that you have the function call somewhere. I keep it in my library, right? But if you didn't have it in your library, we can unclick that. And now it will dump the whole thing. The first part will be your, um, your actual syntax. Let's, uh, let's open up studio here and take a look at that. So the first part is that, that actual call of the the um the amt function call to do what we want this this amt this function this is what wasn't properly exporting um, and, and of course without that it, it is useless so uh I'm glad we fixed that but um yeah so now it, if you need it now what i do is i take this this whole thing i put this in my library and that way i don't have to keep referencing it then i can just use this and i, I don't even have to if it's in your library you don't even have to use the include right that's a great thing about it um if you were to change this name here uh you would want to change the name of your function but it, it is built where you can change that um yeah so it's a it's a pretty cool easy to use free tool um go to uh the automator uh, actually let's just see the go go to the main site uh, and then that's what I would suggest is come up here and then just look in the menus, look for automate my task. And from here you can, uh, you can get the, the new version. And like I said, this, the new one will check for updates or you can have it go check for updates automatically as we, uh, as we find little things here and there, but uh, it's a free tool it does require email address now. Um, but that that's. You know, that's the, the pains of it, right? And all I do is I send you my newsletter, which is what I was working on right now. But hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me know if you have any problems. Cheers.